From the Pakistani side, Air Vice Marshal Abid Rao, defense analyst from Karachi, General Rashid Qureshi. I'll ask him whether this was actually expected or rather unexpected, whether they've been stumped today. He's former spokesperson of Musharraf and Ahmad Raza Kasuri, chief coordinator of the All Pakistan Muslim League. Mr. Kasuri, General Qureshi, Abid Rao, thank you very much. From the Indian side, former Secretary Ministry of External Affairs, KC Singh, General GD Bakshi, editor of the Indian Military Review, and Maruf Raza, India's top military and strategic affairs analyst. KC Singh, let me start with you was this unexpected this move how do you look upon it well let me say that the way the government had come out with different uh, reactions at different times firstly inviting Nawaz Sharif then uh, from lay we heard a different voice but the other day 15th of August Prime Minister sent out a very positive message that poverty alleviation economic integration that is the future so it's appeared a bit sudden because this has happened in the past, April 2nd, this year, the same High Commissioner met the same people. This was on the eve of elections here. So it's not a question of whether it's right or wrong. I think they've sent the right message. But if there is a strategic shift, because never before has this so clearly a red line been drawn that Pakistani representatives will not meet the Hurriyat, then this shift should, not, should have been prepared for. Public should have slowly got uh, some hint of it and we should have been going in that direction. Whereas the suddenness is what makes you think what has happened. But was that that kind of time? You know, the, when you have two rounds, let's get GD Bakshi, when you have two rounds of meetings, that also one week before your foreign secretary level talks, in other words, you're choosing to have these meetings, you want to send out a message, and you are using all of this to somehow take the pressure off your very beleaguered government in, in Islamabad. Now, Sharif may have his problems and he want, may want newspaper articles in Pakistan to say that the Pakistani envoy has met the Hurriyat you know, in order to keep the fire off himself. But, but General Bakshi, is it as unexpected? And whether or not it's unexpected, is it the right thing to do or not? You know, uh, I thought this was coming for a very long time. The Pakistanis had it coming. Look, this government, when it took charge in New Delhi, I think it made a sincere effort to send a signal that it wants peace and quiet and amity in the entire Sark region so that we can focus on economic development. For this reason, all the heads of state of the Sark uh, region were called to New Delhi. All of them were gracious enough to come, including Mr. Nawaz Sharif. But from that time onwards, I think we have just demonstrated to the whole wide world that the standard Pakistani pattern kicks in. Right. The moment one civilian leadership talks of peace talks, you know, or even broaches the subject of peace talks or accepts India's invitation after a lot of hesitation. Right. You know, you have the deep state going into full, you know, uh, high gear, trying to destabilize a government which has been duly elected. You know, suddenly there are marches taking place in Islamabad and the border has been lit up. What is this Pakistani deep state trying to do? Test the will of the Modi government? Well, then they had it coming. You tested I don't the think will. They have anyone to blame? But you themselves. asked for this, Airwatch Marshal Abid Rao. You, you know, you called it upon yourself. You, we had. There was no choice left. You provoked us repeatedly. You tested our patience repeatedly. And you thought you would get away once again by talking to these separatists. Now you can't have it both ways, Air Vice Marshal. We can't on the one side say you want better relations with India and then go ahead and in invite separatists for a dialogue. I mean, separatists for a dialogue. Who are these people? Never fought an election. Represent nobody but themselves. Made a lot of money by being on ISI roles. You call them for a dialogue because you want to do your own, you know, you want to fight the windmill sitting in Delhi. We called your bluff. How do you feel now? Maybe you didn't expect this, I, Air Marshal Rao, but we really called your bluff. Yes, uh, I feel this way that India, with due regards, which calls itself the biggest democracy and a big country of over a billion people, you are talking from a position of moral weakness. You are scared to talk to Pakistan on those issues on which there is a problem since 1947. So there is a problem if you are in so Baluchistan. strong in no, your there belief, is a problem please, in Baluchistan. Listen to me. No, let, you, please, no, let, let listen me listen to me. You, there is a no, problem Baluchistan in Baluchistan. Is let's an do something. Part of Pakistan. No, 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 Marshal Rao, let's do something. Let's call. Let's call. Let's call all the Baluch rebels. Let's call all the Baluch rebels, including those. 
Let's call all the Balu tribals, including those who have been exiled in Switzerland. At the UN, let's, taken by India. Let's call the main for talks in Islamabad with the Indian area. envoy. So you don't want to take it to a logical end. Sir, Your the, leadership, no matter from Mr. Nehru down to Mr. Modi, is scared of talking me, me, to Pakistan because your position is very weak. Ab Abidra, you create reasons. Abidra, what is new that you have done? Abidra, you have suspended Abidra, talks the, the whole past, world you have done knows. It now. How and, does it and the whole it world is seen. Make your position any stronger okay, in let, India. let me please. It makes Pakistan's position even stronger a, a, today, even Rao. in these conditions. We are a, not a Marshall at Rao. All. You have done nothing new. A Marshall Rao. Old, uh, a Marshall yes. Rao. Just one thing. Just, just understand this point, please. How would you have reacted, Maruf? Tell me, how would the Pakistanis have reacted if we would have invited a number of their rebels from Baluchistan for talks? In Islamabad, or maybe should you I say right outside Rawalpindi, right before the diplomatic territory. talks, it is not would, would Nawaz Sharif, any two countries. would Nawaz Sharif have done that with Bangladesh? So let us, okay, so we lost so, for our own political So mistakes. I have a request. It was not. I have a request, Air Marshal. Listen to me, Air Marshal. Yes, because you are giving a wrong example. Rahab, I am giving you a right example. We believe. We believe you repress people in Baluchistan. It is not identical. We believe, what media we believe you Indian violate human rights in Baluchistan. Is and we want permission. Uh, we want historically permission. Air Marshal, please have and, uh, please listen. Politically incorrect. Air Marshal, please listen. When By your shouting, happens, it doesn't make any difference Air to Air our Marshall, position on Kashmir. Air Marshal, you see what happened. I'll, you got away with it, Air Marshal. When Hina Rabani Khar made separatists on her first visit to India, even before Maruf, she met her Indian counterpart. Right, even before she met her Indian counterpart or met SM Krishna or talked about Kashmir or cross border terrorism, she went and had a meeting with that paper tiger called Mirwai Omar Farooq. Yes. Right? And, yes. and when, when, when Jalil Abbas Jilani, foreign secretary, met the separatist leaders ahead of his two day talks with the Indian foreign secretary in June 2012. So, Baruf, they always made it clear they didn't want to talk peace with India. They wanted Absolutely. to come to India and insult India. And make it clear that they were only playing to the Pakistani hardline military galleries. They look hurt tonight. Are they not to blame? Maruf. On a uh, couple of points, uh, I think we both in India and Pakistan got <coughs> differing views on, on the subject. But let me sort of put it in perspective from the way we see the facts. Firstly, <laughs> I was a bit surprised and pleasantly so that the government took this stand and called off Pakistan's bluff. For the last 10 years, under the UPA government, we've had a completely muddled approach to dealing with Pakistan. From Prime Minister Manmohan Singh saying that Pakistan cannot use terror as an extension of its foreign policy after 26-11, he indulged in biryani diplomacy and whatever else. I think what is important to understand that as far as this government is concerned, and I had said so after Mr. Modi's speech in Ladakh, that we could possibly see that the Indian government would be turning a corner vis-a-vis -vis Pakistan. I'm glad I stand vindicated. I saw trends towards that coming from the approach that he had taken. And I think uh, Pakistan also knows that that trend was in the offing. But the problem is a deeper one. And I'm not saying it. I am quoting from the collecting wisdom of various Western scholars who have spent 10 to 15 years, most recently Christine Fair, who have spent time in Pakistan and articulated a balanced account of what is happening there in the establishment. Pakistan must continue to challenge us on Kashmir for a variety of reasons. The military, which is the dominant force there, must challenge that because if they don't, they do not get their kind of... Maruf, they don't challenge it. No, Maruf, no. they don't. We can no, keep no. expecting. You know no, and I no, know Orna, that they Orna, don't. See, if Orna, they, if the they point wanted is, to... No, Orna, Maruf, the point is, if Maruf, they let go, if they let go of the subject, they will be admitting defeat. Precisely. defeat. If they don't so let should, go of the subject, they keep their entire basic focus on that... Pakistan will continue to so-called support these guys, they say morally, but they're actually supporting them physically, financially and militarily. But the more important issue, I think, is that this Modi government is going to give them more surprises. If there are elements in Pakistan's establishment that believe that they can arm twist India into saying that we are a nuclear weapon state, we will do this, that to you. 
Uh, I don't buy that line. Quite simply because nuclear weapons are not to be used. Nuclear weapons no, Maru, pre prevent conflict. No, Maru, they don't cre allow you to be used in conflict. No, no, so, Maru. Maru, the question, is, the question is of the, civility. No, no, Maru, one second. The question the, is of civility. Arnab, my last point. My Maru, last Maru, point. Let's get, let's Maru, get the my, Pakistan uh, Arnab, straight on the point tonight. Arnab, my last point is that if the Pakistan High Commissioner continues to defy the government in <coughs> Delhi, he should be asked to leave. We should be willing to live without diplomatic ties with Pakistan. If Pakistan's envoy, if Pakistan's envoy doesn't serve diplomatic relations, what the hell is he doing here? Well, the simple question to ask Rashid Qureshi and Mr. Kasuri is this: Mr. Kasuri, do you realize the bigger message of this, General Qureshi? The bigger message is: you don't matter, and we don't care. That's simply the message. We gave you an opportunity. If you choose to continue to create trouble, we will just ignore you. Ignore you, General Qureshi. You can't threaten us with either your nuclear weapons or with your terrorism. We have called your bluff. Now, one by one, the entire world today is going to call your bluff. Were you or were you not told, General Qureshi, what about civility? My question is on civility. When the government of India will says you, you, should, listen to you, me? you should go ahead with talks with the separate, you should not go ahead with the soft talks with the separatists. And if you were told that if you went ahead, I talks at the secretary voice, level would be called off. My question to you is why did you continue like a to do box. that? Mr. Kasuri. Why don't you uh, invite us if you have to speak your No, Mr. Kasuri, my question Please is simple. Question Civility. And then listen. Civility. Uh, all right. Listen to me. Look here. Uh, we have got, I have got a lot of reservation of uh, regarding uh, Mia Nawaz Sharif uh, home policy. But uh, let me assure you. Sir, that is your that, problem. Uh, what he said, what he said on the 14th of August represented the ethos of people of Pakistan. When he was in Delhi and he did not meet uh, a delegation. Sir, we know what he said with the, with the Pakistani military having a gun to a his minute, head. We know just that. Just a minute. We know that. Just a minute. Hold on, please. Hold on. Sir, I'm asking you about civility. When and you he, carry on he, global level dialogue, there's got to be a certain Hold civility. on. You don't let anybody speak. If you Sir, don't you answer want, my I question. Will, I will leave the, 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 the... Please listen to me. When he... The, the, the Hurriyat Conference uh, delegation was waiting and he instead preferred to meet uh, Mittal along with Sun, you appreciated because Sir, he please. was a Prime Sir. Minister who was looking for Sir, business, why would you, why, business uh, contact. But... Let me tell you, let me tell you that people in Pakistan were very, very unhappy of that conduct of the uh, Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif. Then he suddenly realized that he so took that's your problem. You are a failed democracy. Your prime minister is he weak. Himself. He doesn't have support. He that's your it. internal problem, oh, not ours. Sake, uh, oh, Lala ji, Lala ji, bas karo. See, Sir, I'm not Lalaji and I'm asking Listen, you a straight question, see, Mr. Kasuri. See, see. That's Arnab, your problem. I know, I know you you're a troubled him. state. You have your problems. Listen to but me. I the position is that when he took a stand which represented the ethos of people of Pakistan, okay, which so represented the official stand of the government of Pakistan from last uh, couple of decades, I, that, you know, that Kashmir is, is a disputed area. Mi, mi, Kashmir is an unfinished agenda of the partition of uh, sir, I, subcontinent. I don't, I don't care. Kashmir is a jugular vein. Sir, I see, don't, and I, there I, are outstanding sir, resolution in the United sir, Nations sir, which compels you to, to, to give a right of plebiscite sir, to the people of Kashmir, which is I, one you know, Mr. Kasuri. Mr. Kasuri, I think you neither know history nor recent facts. We cannot have. I am asking you about. We cannot have good relation unless you solve the the question of Kashmir. Yeah, and and you know, Mr. 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 Kasuri, Mr. Kasuri, Kashmir is and will be a part of India. You have nothing to do with it. The question is, we specifically, we specifically alerted you. You have can 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 general. Can General Qureshi tell me? Can General Qureshi tell me? Can General Qureshi tell me? Willing for that? Can General Qureshi tell me? Six lakhs. Can General Qureshi? And next day they will declare UDI. Next day they will declare UDI. You know, you know. Sir, 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 you know. S
Mr. Kasuri, simple question is. Yo, Jawaharlal Nehru is committed for plebiscite. Uh, so listen, to, later on, listen to me. Ask him to read. Mr. Kasuri, you must allow some other stuff. Ask him to read the resolution. Mr. Kasuri, you must allow some other stuff. 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 Mr. Kasuri, you must
Indian occupied Mr. Kashmir. Mr. Long answer, Mr. Qureshi. Keep the answer. Mr. Qureshi, simple the question. The is yours. Mr. Qureshi. No, Arna. Mr. Qureshi, no, yours. Mr. Qureshi, you have to answer tonight. Is India's. Mr. Qureshi, you have to answer it tonight. It doesn't reduce our stature. Arna, there are three parties to the dispute. Kashmiris are one of and them. And it also conveys so to Pakistan us is one of that them. India does India not want peaceful party. relations Sir, with Pakistan. You know. India does not have the maturity to talk to Pakistan. Have you finished? And go for improved yeah, and yeah, better yeah. relations so, you know and if this is what you want to convey to your people mm. and pakistan can very coolly live without that yes. if you want bad i think then you should the because because i i tell you no 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 general Qureshi, now choice. now will you complete now, or are you making now, a speech now when you I'm say no are you, you say are you going to listen i ask you a question you are just going on and you, on you have no, to get, engage in a debate here on news. Because you are <laughs> brief, sir, you have to engage in a debate. There are Indian participants. Agency, and I once again tell Mr. Kasuri to, to be careful of how he describes our duly elected Prime Minister. Views into the head of the public Mr. that you are trying to address okay, and Okay, so motivate. Mr. Qureshi, I... So that's wrong. Oh, have you if finished? you want to listen to our views... No, have you finished, Mr. Qureshi? Because I am now watching how much time you've taken. call us for... An interaction like this, Mis we will not come. So, Mr. So Qureshi, it doesn't hurt you. Okay, so I'll tell it you one thing. Hurt us, please understand this. Have you finished, Mr. So Qureshi? getting into a rhetoric or a stage where you come here and get worked up and start shouting, Mr. Qureshi, it's pointless. Mr. Then. Qureshi, I'll tell you one thing. If you can, please care to listen. I have timed you, and I think that now you have to sure. come to the program. I think you should be gracious enough, Mr. Qureshi, of. You know, giving, if there are five people who say we want to respond, I ask you a question, you don't answer the question, you continue to make your remarks, fine, you continue for five minutes, unstop, that's also yeah. fine. But a point, a limited point, a question being put and I don't know why not one of our three Pakistani guests can tell me tonight answer to one question. One question Maruf, one question General Bakshi and one question KC Singh. What was the pressing need A to talk to these non-entities? called the Huriyat a few days before the foreign secretary level talk. They're not non-entities. Oh, really? They're okay, so I want to ask you, General Qureshi. I want to ask you. I know, one second. In. General Qureshi does not know India. You know, unlike yeah, your country, we are a democracy. If you have to be a en political entity in India, your, you, are, you have to so you have to be elected. Mr. Kasuri, Mr. Kasuri, listen to me. Mr. Kasuri, listen to me. Despite your terrorism, despite your paid agents, despite these people called the Huriyat, you had massive turnout in the Lok Sabha elections. You had 60 plus percent turnout in the assembly elections. You had 79 percent turnout in the panchayat elections. And shame on you and your country who sponsor the terrorists and have these stooges called the Huriyat. You want to meet them? I ask you tonight. Give me factual data to prove that they represent the people of Kashmir. Give me one factual data. Factual data and not your subjective opinion. How do they represent the people of Kashmir? Prove to me. Any one of you three can so prove to me on this basis we say they represent the, the people of Kashmir. Not the answer. You give me the answer, Mr. Kasuri. Mr. Kasuri, give me the answer on what basis? On what basis? On the basis of which fact and what data do you say the Huriyat who has never fought an election represent the people of Kashmir? Or not? Then every ISI, every ISI agent represents the people of Kashmir. They represent the ethos. Mr. Kasuri, what ethos? It represents the ISI ethos. of people of Kashmir. Well, really, on what basis and who are you to say that, Mr. Kasuri? You don't even know the basic respect with which you should be speaking about our Prime Minister when you address him, Mr. Kasuri. And I'm well, not going to take that. Prime Minister's hands I am not going to take that, Mr. Kasuri. Blood of, uh, I think Maruf, Muslims. Maruf, why, in, don't, in, in, don't give me this Hindu-Muslim angle in all the time. India, the secular country and a great Minister, democracy, Mr. Kasuri. His, his Unlike yours. We are the, having responses from Maruf tonight. Maruf, I ask a question three times. You can say I don't have an answer. You can say I don't have an answer. You can say that. I don't have an answer.